welcome to this video here we will talk about uh, lit code problem 54 titled spiral matrix so this is also from the category arrays and strings so here we have given a matrix m cross n and we have to return all elements of the matrix but in the spiral order so what does spiral order mean so let's say example one two three first row four five six second row seven eight nine third row so the spiral order will be to start from the one two three and then going down six nine then eight seven then four five so the spiral means we start from the left corner top left and then go towards right and once we reach the end of the first row we go down and once we reach the end of all the rows last element we go again to the right and so on so the, the order of spiral is the one which I'm able to show with the cursor so it's one two three six nine eight seven four five okay and so here the input is list of list of integers and output is just a list one dimensional so one two three six nine eight seven four five okay so let's see another example another example is one two three four first row five six seven eight second row nine ten eleven twelve third row so just three, three rows and four columns so we first write one two three four we first write one two three four then we write the remaining elements in the first last column eight nine then 11 10 9 11 10 9 then 5 6 and then 7 okay this is what we do so before i tell you the solution of this problem let me introduce uh, you to uh, operation dot pop pop so this is a, a common uh, operator for the list in python language and i believe other languages also have similar operator so did dot pop means if matrix is a two dimensional matrix and and if we give dot pop pop so it will move the last array so if i write temp is equals to matrix dot pop and small bracket so it will move the last row to new variable so this will return the matrix dot pop will return the last row so returning means it will move the last row from the matrix to our temporary variable so let's say i define temporary variable temp is equal to matrix dot pop so the the matrix dot pop will store the last element or last row of the matrix into a temp variable if i do instead if i do matrix dot pop zero so the, this will do a reverse operation this will remove the first row pop the first row from the matrix and to the and store into temporary variable so just we see that putting a zero in the argument of pop removes the first element and not the last okay so this was on the matrix let's say we have a vector which is row and we we give pop to this on row we when we operate pop on this row we get the last element item in the row okay and when we apply to uh, to the vector row when we apply pop with zero as an argument we get the first item okay so let's see uh, for example let's define a matrix is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the same matrix which we saw above and we have a row one two three let's just define them to understand the pop operation okay so as you might see from my definition matrix dot pop is equals to should go give me the last row so last row is seven eight nine seven eight nine so matrix dot pop zero should give me the first row which is one two three one two three okay mat row dot pop should give me the last item in the row which is three and row dot pop zero should give me the first item in the row which is one okay so now this is the definition so if you want to play with this thing more just open a python ide integrated development environment define matrix is equals to this row is equals to this and then just uh, define matrix dot pop this or just print matrix dot pop matrix dot pop zero row dot pop uh, row dot pop is zero and just print these elements and you will see the exact same values and um, you can also play with some other example just to get familiar with this pop operation this is very crucial and knowing this pop operation will make the problem an easy one otherwise this problem is classified as a lead code hard and also it's very tricky obviously and uh, so now we are going to define a procedure for doing it how to do it 
well if until this now you haven't understood the pop please go back pause the video and see the definition and run through some numerical example choose your own example run the pop through it or maybe better if you can open a python int ide and run this pop there to understand it uh, so very important to understand pop before you view the rest of the video the rest of the video will be very simple if you can understand pop so now let's say we have the input matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now i'm going to tell you a procedure a step by step procedure which you can follow to get the output which is the spiral order of items okay so the procedure is first of all go and pop the matrix first row so pop operation removes the item from the original matrix and put it into temporary variable so if we pop let's define output vector and make it zero list and then when we pop the first row so matrix dot pop we pop the first row it means first row is removed from here so i delete it with red color you will see and i store one two three in the op okay next we are just left with this six element four five six seven eight nine these are the only items left after i do the pop okay next what i can do is i again do i now i go through each row so and pop the last item so i go through the row four five six and pop the last item so i get six then i go to the next row and pop the, um, the item nine so i get nine okay so what we do i pop the first row then i pop the last item in each of the remaining rows and after popping here i will be left with four five seven eight okay only two elements so what what i have to do is now i did a column I operate through the column and then through through the row then the column and now you see I, I have to make a spiral order right so down now I have to go this direction so this direction which I have shown with the red color so now for getting these 8 and 7 I have to pop the last row and when I pop the last row I get 7 and 8 but I have to reverse what I get so I have to pop the last row so for popping the last row from the matrix I have to do matrix dot pop and then I have to reverse the elements so I do colon colon minus one in Python if you write uh, it's big brackets colon colon minus one it means it will reverse the string for, or list okay so we took uh, the reverse of this so it becomes eight and seven and then now we are left with just one one row four five so what we do we pop uh, the, so we have to make a spiral right so we have left to right then top to bottom and then again we go to right to left and now we have to go to the bottom to top so there is not much element here this one so and then after top to uh, bottom to top we will go again left to right so repeating the same is what we did here one two three so now we just copy four five okay so there are just uh, these arrows are showing my operation so i go from here to here then top to bottom then here and the next operation will be this direction bottom to top and then to left to right and right to the top to bottom then right to left and so on so we do this spiral order until the matrix is finishes okay so i hope you got the procedure however let's uh, let's go through another good example to understand it so consider a matrix one two three first row four five six second row six seven eight third row three nine four fourth row two one zero fifth row so i have a matrix here with five rows and three columns and i have to report the spiral order elements from this matrix now we will do it not the manually but through the procedure i have described here so we first pop the first row one two three one two three so now it is deleted now we are left with only these elements four five six six seven eight three nine four two one zero now we pop the last column so it becomes six eight four so six 840 okay so this is step 2 now it's after step 2 we are just left with for this element 45673921 okay so now we will go into this direction to to because this is the popping the last row so last row is 2 1 and after popping we have to reverse so 2 1 reverse is 1 2 so we add 1 2 here see the rest of the things are being copied and then so in every step we are up appending the new elements okay so after this we will go up because to we have to finish the spiral order so after this popping we are left with four five six seven three nine only two column three rows 
so we go top to um, from bottom to top so we return 364 so 364 is the first column and so we pop the first column after reversing the matrix okay so we got 364 here 364 and then again we are just left with 579 so for 579 we have just one column so now the, we have to just pop the last row because this is the uh, one row we just uh, pop the 5 because left to right operation so we get just 5 in the fourth operation then we are left with 7 and 9 only 7 and 9 so we just pop the entire 7 and 9 in one in one iteration so i forgot to write 9 but 7 and 9 will be obtained in just one iteration because it is top to bottom so popping the last column okay so we see that we repeatedly do the operations um, from left to right and then top to bottom then right to left then bottom to top and we keep doing it until we are in with the all elements in the matrix okay and uh, we just have to make sure that we if you want to do something on rows the rows should be at least one so that we can refer it okay so i believe uh, you got the algorithm now with the help of this bigger example i strongly recommend you to go through this bigger example because it makes uh, any of the it makes the concepts clear so if you misunderstood anything from this smaller example that thing will become clear here for sure okay and see if your output matches mine so this is what we have after the six steps we will be able to finish it okay so this was the algorithm now uh, let's go ahead and uh, implement it in python so we have uh, uh, here the solution class and we have a spiral order diff function with list as output and list of list of list list of list of integers as input so if not matrix we return zero so if matrix is empty we return zero we have nothing so the spiral is the output it means the spiral order of ma and we initialize it with empty list so while matrix it means while the matrix has some element a spiral is equals to spiral dot pop so this is the first operation i said so matrix dot pop zero is taking popping the first row of the matrix and storing into spiral okay plus is equal to means we append it and now the first row is absent from matrix next we check if matrix it means if matrix has uh, elements and matrix zero it means matrix has at least one row if yes then for row in matrix for all the rows in the matrix we append a spiral dot append we take the last element of the row so which is row dot pop okay you can also write row minus one but in that case you just have to copy but pop is also removing the element from matrix and storing it in spiral so we need really the pop only here okay so row dot pop gives the last element and after that we again check if matrix if there are non-zero elements after popping the last columns of all the matrix if yes then we we have to pop the last row because to complete the of the remaining matrix to complete the spiral order the third step of its spiral order. so in the third step we take the last row but we have to read it in reverse order so we do the matrix dot pop with no argument this gives us the last row but we have to read it in right to left fashion reverse order so we reverse it with this uh, operator colon colon minus one okay so if you have a string yes and you put yes colon colon minus one it means the reverse order of the string okay now at this point we have our have to do the fourth step which is going from bottom to top okay so we will go bottom to top means we are getting the first column but we are reading it in the reverse manner so what do we do we will check so first column means we have to extract the first element of all the rows so we check if matrix and if matrix zero so if there is at least one row if yes then for row in matrix reverse so here the colon colon minus reverse the order of rows so it reverses the order of rows okay so because row is the first dimension of the matrix and the colon is the second so matrix the colon colon minus and reverses the order of rows so first row will be processed last okay so it means we will be processing last row first and then row dot pop zero takes the first element of the row so we got the first element of row and we append it 
then we got the second one and we get the first row in the last and this is what we, we wanted to do we wanted to read from top from bottom to top it means we wanted to get the first element of last row first and this matrix colon colon minus one reverses the row or row of the rows of the matrix so last row becomes first row and first row becomes last and then pop is just doing its function so and then the end we just return okay and we keep doing it until the matrix is non empty and that's why we put while matrix okay and also it's important to know that at each step because after every pop operation matrix can become empty anytime because we have no, have no control over the shape of the matrix it can be any rectangular matrix so we at each step we have to check matrix is there or not okay and for the step two and four where we are doing operations on rows we check if matrix zero matrix zero it means there is at least one row only then we can do some operation on the rows okay and we return the spiral in the end so here i have a very nice diagram to show the spiral order the first step is left to right step two is from top to bottom and step three is right to left and step four is bottom to top okay so uh, please give yourself some time to go through this score one more time mentally and try to understand it i like to see it in two step process first see the t one and two and then see the three and four because they are very similar and now as i promised all my videos now have uh, the official description of the spiral matrix uh, question you can also find the link to this lead code question in the description of my video and i choose the same example two of the examples are exactly the same so that you can relate with it okay and here so this is the code which i wrote in the lead code editor and you can see the code you can pause I, I recommend you pause in the video and typing the code if you are typing it into ide because that also gives you some confidence when you can run the code yourself however in interviews you are asked to write down a piece of paper on whiteboard so it's also nice to do the mental calculation while writing the code and being able to go through the code with some example in that way it's much easier to handle new questions and also to be able to explain how the code is working so i will pause it for a while and then that's the end of the question and i hope it uh, it clarifies the or any question you have well thank you so much for watching this video and i want to thank all the viewers and subscribers for giving so much love in just first week uh, i request uh, you to share this video with any friend who might be preparing for interview for home exams or is a beginner in a python coding and is trying to brush up his knowledge or also the undergraduate students in the first year of the engineering colleges computer science electronics electrical engineering because they also need this knowledge for the exams or maybe internships placements and i'm always happy to make any helpful video on any tough topic so if you have a topic which on which you would like to have a video short video please uh, drop the topic name in the comment uh, and i would like to follow up with a video as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and if you like this content please subscribe my channel so that whenever i upload the sol uh, efficient solution to any tough problem you might be able to get notified with it and it can save your times okay so let's uh, begin the new year 2019 with the, the tradition of sharing knowledge and show me some love by subscribing my channel and liking the video and also please please, please forward it in with your meant with your juniors or college mains or school mains and let them also discover this uh, self-learning path thank you so much